What is going on guys? My name is Noonan and today I'm bringing you guys the last part of the Super Senso Challenge Guides. As of the build 1.7.1, which is pretty much the launch of the North American build, there is currently only four challenges, so I'm going to be bringing you the guide for the fourth challenge right now. If you're watching this video at a later time and there are other challenges, do not worry, I will have videos up basically showing you how to complete all for future challenges as they come out. But in the state of making this video in the current build of the game, there's only four challenges. And uh, if you're new here and you're just coming in and you don't know what challenges are, basically they're in-game scenarios that allow you to get free keystones. Keystones are the Senso, Super Senso's in-game currency that allow you to unlock chests, get stronger cards, so on and so forth. But if you have not watched part one, two, and three, I do recommend going to check those out if you already have already and you're back to kill and uh, take on the fourth challenge. Thank you so much for watching my previous videos. Welcome back. Glad to have you guys here. But let's go ahead and jump right into the amazing Phantasmo. Now, in terms of difficulty for this challenge, it's it's um it's not as hard as the third one. I'm not gonna lie. I think in the terms of how these challenges, how the difficulty of them gets ramped up, it's a little weird. But um, I would say this is this is probably the second hardest one. I'm not gonna lie. So getting right into our first turn here, you can see our units lined up. And um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move this unit down one, and we're gonna end our turn. That's that's pretty much it. Because Phantasm is gonna come in and probably kill the scout over here because he has ridiculous reach. Because he's he's the main villain. Of course he has to be OP, right? But um, he's going to kill one of our units, that's fine, really no big deal. What we want to do is kind of have a few units come into us so we can create an opening and then rush Phantasmo. It is not key to kill all the other units. As long as you kill Phantasmo and, like, say, all five of the other units are still up, you will still win the challenge. That's all you got to do. He's the only focus here. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Now Phantasmo's going to come in. He's probably going to kill one of my units. Yeah, like I said, he's going to come in. He's going to kill it. No big deal. Other units are going to start coming in. And now we're going to start playing um, a little bit passive, but not too um, not, not not too defensive. We still got to come in and start clearing out some units so that we can open up that line to kill uh, kill the amazing Phantasmo. So let's go ahead and basically what we're going to do is we're going to come in. We're going to kill this grunt over here. We're going to go in and move this unit on up because we want to get him out of the way. The ranger is very important to kind of stay back. It does a lot of damage, so you want him or her, I mean to uh, sit back and just lay on that heavy fire when you need her to. Now the striker is going to go ahead and we're pretty much going to leave it exactly where it is. Um, we're going to put the guardian into a bait spot. We might get hit by this guy, but if he comes in and Phantasmo hits us, there we go. We're directly um, in the firing space for Phantasmo and we can start rushing him down. It'll be an easy victory right after that. So let's go ahead and see what he does. He's going to hit the striker. I totally expected that. That's really no big deal. We're going to hit by that tank. That's what I expected. And um, next turn, pretty much, we can start clearing out the tanks in front of us. And now we have that clear path to go ahead and kill Phantasma. So we're going to go ahead and hit the tank over here with the sniper. We're going to go ahead and kill it with the guardian. We're going to move the scout right down over here and then our striker down over here. So the striker is just out of the range of... Um, Oh, he's not in the range of Phantasma. Yo, Phantasma, the reach that you have is absolutely whack. This is insane. But okay, Phantasma can't really pull us in unless he comes in with the, the tank first, which I suspect he's going to do. Um, this this match does have a lot of RNG to it, so um, it's kind of hard to predict how it's going to move every time. But uh, really playing the defensive and uh, drawing out Phantasma is kind of key to uh, the victory in um, in this one here. So we're going to go ahead and basically what we're going to do now is we're going to come lay on some damage to Phantasmo. Our scout's going to get hit next turn. That's perfectly fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to lay on some damage to this tank. We're going to kill it with our Guardian. And now what we have is some Boomers. We'll probably lose this guy next turn. That's perfectly fine. But now we have a full health Striker and still a full health Guardian. So we're sitting pretty good right now. So, like I said, this guy's probably going to die, the little unit right there, going to hit by the boomer. I suspect Phantasmo's going to hit him, yep, just like I expected. The boomer is way too out of reach to come in and deal damage to us, and now we can go ahead, lay on the damage with the striker here. We're going to come in with our guardian, kill Phantasmo, and that is GG, boys. That is it. That's all you got to do. Don't even worry about those boomers, because like I said, once Phantasmo's dead, there you go. You're collecting your 100 free keystones, and now you guys should have that free 400 keystones and go ahead pat yourselves on the back you did a really good job 
you guys you guys deserved it I, I believe you really do deserve it and go ahead and open up that very first chest now in celebration of uh, getting your first 400 keystones I'm gonna go ahead and open up a chest with you guys so let's go ahead there you go and all your glory you got those seven cards go check out what they are you got some buy coins that's sick we got a new senso also sick mortar if you're not rolling mortar in deck right now you definitely should be because mortar is hecka OP right now um, we got some more cards we got another striker card so overall not too bad look at that look at all the free stuff that you just got for completing all those challenges I'm so proud of you guys you guys are amazing but hey if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more but um, once again thank you so much guys for stopping by and checking out the video but as always guys have fun playing Super Senso